stony ground. We don't have to worry about the waysides because our hearts are good and conditioned to receive what God has for us. We went yesterday, we were sighting our guns and the gentleman said, hey, we got some, I got a whole field full of turnips. Y'all want some? I'm like, yeah. Don't turn down no turnip, I'm telling you. So we was out there and we was picking them and, and how many of you know that some of your turnips, some of the leaves of the turnips are bitter and the other ones are sweeter? Mm -hmm. Right? So I'm picking these young ones. Boy, I'm like, man, that's going to be good right there. And so I just I looked up at him and said, hey, you plant any collards anytime soon? I'm going to say, he goes, no. Oh. <laughs> okay. But as we were picking them, I was thinking about how, I, there was a bunch of just grass just, just all along this, too. I mean, it's, it's like he went out and he just scattered the seed, but they grew. But I could tell they just wasn't as healthy as it could have been. Probably the, the land wasn't mixed right. Probably was no fertilizer put on there for them. Anything. He probably just went over there knowing him. He just tilled it up and scattered them down and said, There you go. And I thought, You know what? Ain't that just like us? We come in and we say, Lord, forgive me of my sins. And then we get up and we go right back out without any cultivating, without any journey without anything happening to our soul other than the fact of a seed being planted and we walk away. And then we wonder why we have so many weeds growing around us. I'm going to tell you that, that during the day, that place was full of weeds. I mean every grass there are some grass taller than the turtle, I'm just saying. You have to be careful what you pick. <laughs> and I thought, Lord, that is just like us sometimes. We're not willing to go to that point that says, shape me, make me, mold me, O oh God, into the vessel you want me. But we'll say, God, forgive me my sins. And you just look over me as I do what I want to do when I'm out here doing what I'm doing. And that's the truth. We do not want that shake of our soul. We don't want no disturbance. Because how many of us know that whenever the land is getting tilled, it hurts it. It hurts the land. If you don't believe me, take your fingernails and scratch yourself really hard and tell them that don't hurt. It hurts. But when the healing takes place, it's after it's done being cultivated, after it's done being turned and plowed and planted healing starts taking place because the dirt starts coming back and back down, doesn't it? It starts leveling off and things start to grow. That's what we need in our life. We need that. We need to be able to receive it and hang on to it. Amen? Amen. Last one. Matthew chapter 11 or chapter 10 verse 40. How do we make our ground good? And this is it. Hearing the word, understanding the word, and understanding this is this. He that received you receiveth me. He that receiveth me, he that receiveth me receiveth him that sent me. In other words, 
Jesus said, when you receive me, you receive the one that sent me. You receive the Father. Hear it. Understand it. That when we receive and accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and personal Savior, and we're willing to let our soul be tended by Him and by that Holy Ghost, then we not only receive that, we receive the benefits that comes with Him. We receive that because we receive not only Him, but we receive the Father as well. So here's my question once again. What type of soul are you? What type of soul do you want to be? It's your choice. Your decision. And I know a lot of times we come into the church house and we play church. I was sitting the other week in in we had them doing some interviews. And I remember when I was young, got into the law enforcement area, I always gave the answers that I thought they wanted to hear. Never forget, whenever they, when I sat before that board when I was 21 years old, and that, that lady asked me on there, she says, why do you want to be here? My answer was, was to serve and protect. That ain't the reason I don't want to be there. The other day I sat down in a chair and they said, Rick, tell me why you want to do this. I said, I want to get a cool uniform. I want to carry a gun and I want to drive fast. <laughs> <laughs> and they said, that's the most honest answer I ever heard in my life. <laughs> And I said, you know what? So many times we're only telling people what we want them to hear versus the truth. I do not want you to leave here not knowing this truth. The truth of it is, it's not a head matter, it's a heart matter. It's not about how many scriptures you know. But it's about who you know in your heart. It's not about how many verses you can quote off. But it's about how deep that word is in your heart. That you desire not to sin against him. It's all about the heart. We sing a song, get down in a, you know, into the heart stuff, but do we really? We come to church, we play church. We sing songs, we listen to someone bring a word, and then we go right back out them doors, and we go do whatever it was we were doing before we got into them doors. That is not change. Change is deciding when you go out of the doors, you're going to do better than you did when you Making the difference, having that soul turned however many times it takes to become fruitful for God. Stand with me.